Now, there's probably thousands upon thousands upon thousands of jigs, jig profiles, jig colors, jig heads, etc. The list can go on and on and on. So in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking it down, getting it real simple for you to know what profile to choose and a couple different colors to choose from when you go out there so you're not out there going through your entire tackle box trying to get these fish to bite. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. I'm Steven Turner. So, you know, at the beginning of the video, we're gonna give a big shout out to Chad, the, cr the crappy kid. He actually hooked me up with all this new glitter to play, play with. So, expect some cool custom colors to come out very, very soon. Uh, we are saving up for the new truck and boat, like I said on the last video. So any, any little bit helps. The best way to help the channel, you go buy some jigs, there's a tip spot at the bottom, and all the tips are gonna be collected and put into a jar. Um, you can also become a member down below. And just liking the video, subscribing to the channel is the, is the simplest, freest way to help. But it's gonna be a grind. I know, but eventually we'll save up the money and we'll be able to get out to bigger and better lakes. Anyways, let's break this thing down. So I'm gonna give you the easy button for 365 days of the year. You know, I see time and time again, everybody's got these tackle boxes that have 400 jigs in it or more. I, I've seen people just have every damn jig in the world. But I'm gonna break it down real simple. Four profiles that you need every time you hit the water. And if they're not biting these four, four profiles, they're not biting at that certain place and you need to go find another one. So right now we're, we are in post spawn down south. You know, what happens during spawn? A lot of fry. You got bass fry, crappy fry, bluegill fry, uh, gar fry, whatever. Crappy or carnivores, they will eat their cells. And nothing imitates a fry, in my opinion, better than chartreuse. And luckily, we have this amazing color called crappy man green. And we have this really tiny bait called the little stinker. And that is, in my opinion, one of the best fry imitations that you can get hands down. But post spawn and you know a little bit into the summer, your real smaller baits, like if you're going out to buy a crappy jig at your local Walmart or something, try to get like a 1.5, 1.75 inch bait. You don't want a lot of action to it. You don't want a lot of appendages doing crazy stuff in the water. You just want something that imitates a fry, a baby fish. And the little stinker and the little minnow, which is probably gonna be talked about a lot in this video. But I mean, almost every jig company in the world, you don't have to buy my jigs, has a minnow imitating profile. And profiles, in my opinion, mean more than color. If you've got the right profile, you're gonna get bites. So springtime, post spawn, your chartreuse, your monkey milks, white, uh, your June bugs real early in the morning before the sun gets out because it contrasts really good. Those are my top colors for the first part of the year. Now, when you move on to summertime, when you get in the summertime, the fishing starts to heat up. These fish are more active, they're more willing to chase your bait, and they're more willing to come up from the depths to get your bait. You know, in the spawn, you, you get it right on them. You know, you're fishing bushes, trees, whatever. You get it right on them, they fill it with their lateral line and they're gonna ambush it because they don't like it in their nest. Post spawn, they're real lazy. They don't wanna eat. That's why that little stinker, it's a very small profile, very 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 easy going down in the water don't spook them they're gonna bite it summertime is when baits like a little swim bait we sell this little 1.5 inch paddle tail 
crappymanjigs.com. These come into play because in the summertime, they're gonna get on your bridges. They're gonna get on your deeper brush piles. They're gonna get on your ledges. And when you find that school of them, if you throw that swim bait past them, let it come, let it pendulum to them and just creep it like just as slow as you can stand it. And if you have a paddle tail, that tail is just gonna be doing that and that fish is gonna come out and chase it and eat it. But like I said, don't forget the minnow. They're gonna eat this thing 365 days of the year. And I'm not kidding. So summertime fishing, simple profiles are a swimming profile. You could even get a, a twister, like a little grub tail, and that'll do fine. Or a minnow profile. Minnow profiles are hands down the, excuse me, the best for crappy fishing. Now, when we get into the fall, it honestly, the fall and summertime to me play the same part. You know, a swim bait and a minnow is probably going to carry you over to the winter time. But another awesome bait for this in between is the snipe beaver. Now, normally, this has two appendages on it. I normally take them off. But the cool thing about this bait, if you rig it normally, it's going to shimmy down. But if you rig it sideways, you get a real nice thump as you're winding it. So if you're dealing with a little bit of muddier water and your swim bait is not producing, get you a, a, a bait with a big, big beaver tail on them. A lot of companies sell them. And we rig it sideways so when it comes through the water, it thumps. And that'll get you a few more bites. As far as color goes in the summertime, natural colors, monkey milk, magic, uh, baby bass, crappy man green, obviously. Those are the colors that's going to get bit. Now, you can have your off-the-wall colors, your purples, your whatever, but natural colors if your water is four to five feet or more visibility if you got a little bit of stained water chartreuse orange can't be beat so that, that's summer and fall like so in my opinion they don't change much like they move locations more than they change what they want to eat during the summer and fall now when we get in the winter this past year you know normally in the winter i was throwing the little minnow little minnow's gonna get bit but what I figured out is this crappy fluke that we sell, it's a 2.5 inch. But what I do, I take off three ribs on it and it fits perfectly on this four, size four hook. Like the hooks are just perfect and it, it gives it room for the tail to do that. In the winter time, you have what I call dead sticking. Like the fish are hungry and they'll eat. But a lot of the times when you're dropping on a brush pile or you're fishing the dock, if you let it just sit there, what you do, you, you every human has a natural shake to them. So if you're dead sticking on this brush pile, you're right above it, and you've got that natural shake. I want y'all look at that tail. I am trying to hold my hand perfectly still, and look at that tail. That's what it's going to do under the water. So winter time, the little minnow, obviously but dead stick a fluke on top of that brush pile and you're gonna catch a freaking giant. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. That They will come and explode on that thing. But uh, wintertime colors, I mean, keep it simple. Chartreuse, monkey milk, natural. You could probably run those, those couple colors every day of your life for the rest of your life. I'm not even kidding. If you look in my tackle box right now, I have crappy man green, monkey milk, and I have a random natural clear color and random natural uh, double colors and a few odds and ends of crappy man green mixed with something else. And that's all she wrote. That, that's how I do it 365 days of the year. If they don't bite that or if they're not chasing that, especially if you see them on forward facing sonar, like if they're not coming out the brush pile, your profile's wrong. If they're chasing it and not eating it, your color's wrong.
that's the biggest tip of the day but anyway guys if you like the video like the video i'm gonna try to be pushing out more of these little tip videos in the shop we got the dog barking in the background i'm completely sorry about that but oh subscribe down below almost to 10,000. we're gonna be there very 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 soon